A day three embryo is an embryo on the third day of development. So an embryo goes through multiple stages during its development in the lab and the embryologist will monitor this very closely. She's looking for the number of cells, the quality, the size, and the shape of the cells in order to come up with a score for which to select the best embryo. So on day three, we like to see eight cells that should be about the same size and shape. Now a blastocyst is an embryo on day five of development. And so much happens between day three and day five. So on day three, an embryo has eight cells and the embryologist can count them very easily and they all look about the same. By the time it gets to day five, it is now significantly bigger than it was on day three. And it has hundreds of cells that are nearly impossible to count. And these cells have started to organize themselves into two specific types. The first type is the trifectoderm, which becomes the placenta. And the second type is the inner cell mass, which becomes the fetus. The benefits of blastocyst culture and transfer are that we know that not all embryos will make blastocysts, but the ones that do have the highest potential for making a baby. So by leaving the embryos in culture till day five, we are able to use this as a selection tool to select the best embryo to transfer. Blastocyst culture and transfer may not be for everyone because it is a tool that we use to select embryos. So if a patient, for example, only has one or two embryos, there's no need to grow them out to make a selection. In fact, we may want to transfer them earlier on day three to get them back into the natural environment as soon as possible.